Hi, my name is Azua Rinze. I'm the publisher, editor in chief of US International Magazine. My name is Dario Adeneye, but most of you probably know me better as the world famous D1, radio, TV presenter, producer, and much more. My name is Godwin A. Nakena. I'm a broadcaster and I do sport. Hi, everybody. My name is Wilson Joel, music producer at uh, The Resolution Music. Hi, my name is Uche Naji. I'm the founder and creative director of Nigeria's premier fashion and lifestyle brand called Ouch. Uh, my name is Wilson Negodalo. I'm the president of the Drug Salvation Foundation, NDLA Celebrity Drug Free Club. I'm the convener of NDLA Celebrity Drug Free Club. We are here to launch anti drug abuse media campaign video at the NDLA headquarters today with the member of the celebrity and other international corp and uh, the press men all over. Everybody is here. This initiative actually started last year when I came up with the idea of Celebrity Draw Free Club. And as God will have it, uh, the chairman of NDLA actually approved it and uh, that's how we started work. Sincerely, I remember when we were launching it, he said, Celebrity Draw Free Club is not for fun. We have to get to work as soon as possible. From that time, we've been working, we've been meeting, we've been planning, strategizing how we are going to make the next move. And we decided to come up with this very first project because we believe that, you know, media can penetrate anywhere. Media can reach so many households that you cannot be able to reach. And we decided to pick up so many popular faces like the uh, D1, Yes Magazine, uh, Chief Executive, uh, Arch, uh, Wilson Joe, and even Nigeria himself, the owner, of Nanjizi television channel and Oriso, so that we can be able to use it to propagate and to promote this very campaign against drug abuse because we know that a lot of youth are looking up to them as role model, as inspirational, and as mentor. Um, my name is Susan Ayo Honesty. I'm the publisher of Glam and Essence, style, um, Glam and Essence magazine, and um, I came to be a part of this foundation in view of the fact that it's targeted to us addressing the issue of drug abuse and um, I believe in the the person who is the initiator of this event who is Mr. Wilson Igodalo. My name is uh, Oluwafemi Afolabi Adirugwe. Um, they, know, they, they know me better as Kwame and um, I'm, I'm part of the drug free campaign because I believe that um, it's targeted mostly at the youths and um, I'm very passionate about everything that concerns the youth so that is why I'm part of this drug free campaign and I like the slogan be smart don't start we've lost a lot of brilliant minds to drugs and um, it's time we start we start um, trying to reorientate them and tell them what they should do in terms of drugs and how they should handle themselves I'm here to support the anti-drugs campaign anti-drugs abuse campaign as a worthy cause because uh, everybody Everybody who goes into drugs know that they are doing the wrong thing and every time, every now and then you see people being arrested at the airports or different places um, taking drugs elsewhere and you still see people the next week, you know, trying to get some more drugs out of the country or get it into the country. Drugs is just not the way, you know, you don't need it to get high, you don't need it to do whatever. You know, it actually just ruins one's future and uh, it gives me great privilege to be part of this campaign and I think it's a very worthy cause, you know, yeah, so don't start, be smart. Oh, it's part of our mandate, first of all, for us to ensure that um, we reach out to people and we do advocacy because, you know, by the law of NDLA and the Enabling Act, we're supposed to be not also enforcers and make sure that um, we do not, people do not traffic, possess or sell drugs, but to also ensure that we cancel people who are dependent, who are dependent on drugs. And part of the master plan which we launched in um, June 26, uh, as chair of the, uh, we, we are chair of the Interministerial Committee, which does the master plan, which, which we, was a, we had a balanced approach. And the balanced approach is to ensure that one part, the demand and supply reduction are given equal uh, predominance. We're the first drug agency in Africa, that law enforcement agency that deals with drugs, to bring in the initiative of social media. I'm really very proud of it. I remember the last international conference, I wasn't around, but my chairman was there. He said NDLA and Nigeria got all highs for the first initiative. They said it's the first in Africa. The national community said that's something that they need to deal with. We moved to social media. And imagine how many young people tweet me every day and say, no, why should I not take those? Why must you force me? And I say, we don't have to force you, but I'd rather not want to come and visit you. So we tell them, we send them photographs of what drug has done. We tell them the reason why 
taking cannabis for example is not good people tell me but i'm in school i can't stay awake i need ephedrine co- codeine and i tell you well codeine is supposed to be is a illicit drug but we, when you put it to illicit use it can damage the body and they go back and forth they, they haggle and they tell us and at the end of the day we, we, we just nicely try to reach out to them just stay clean that's just the truth because the day you get yourself entangled with the use of drug you're already um terminating your purpose for the for being on earth so it is nothing worthy of being clean to be able to achieve who you are to, to enter into your calling i've never seen anyone who's been in, on drugs that be able to achieve anything they always have to be out of it and living a pure and purposeful life to be able to live a pure purposeful life um that's basically the reason why i would say to a young person right now stay away from drugs be smart don't start <laughs>